And now the other mirror fell off. Great. This has been an ongoing problem. When we first bought the RV, both mirrors were missing. One of them was over on the bed and the other one was shattered and broken so they had thrown it away. And they had to order a new one from Jayco and get it shipped. When we picked up the RV to take ownership of it, they reattached the one and the other one was still on order. By the time we brought it back, the one they reattached had fallen off again. So they reattached that one, attached the one they order. It fell off again and I reattached it and it's still attached. I reattached it me and I used stuff that was actually going to hold it. Jayco put this cheap double-sided foam tape on it that I don't know how they think that that was going to hold those mirrors on when you're driving down the road on a bumpy road and some of these highways are plenty bumpy and I mean just what are you thinking Jayco? It's not going to hold it. Then the dealership thinks that this silicone glue is going to hold it. Backs of these mirrors are not going to adhere to that silicone glue. So of course eventually the one that I hadn't done myself has fallen off again. So now you get to see what I did to make sure that this one didn't fall off again. So if you don't want to watch this whole video because you know how to put tape on a mirror and scrape stuff off. You just want to know what I use. This is it. Scott, extremely strong. But you're going to miss my story. I'm going to unscrew this so I can take it off and do this properly. Talking about things that RV dealerships can't seem to do correctly, we dropped our RV off last week because we had to get some warranty work done on it. They had ordered parts and we had scheduled the time three weeks in advance to bring it in. They said it'd be a couple of days and since we're living in it, okay, we'll just go stay in a hotel for a couple of days. Let them work on the RV before we uh, go on to our next place. There's a latch on this side which kind of helps. Holds it in place. Gotta clean the uh, lap seal off on my cutting knife here from the last project that I used it with. And yes, I did make a video of that project too. Put a link to it somewhere here, there, there, down there. I don't know. As you may have gotten from one of my previous videos, it's crowded in Phoenix in uh, March. Not just for RVs, but for hotels and everything. We can't find anything. This stuff's hard to remove and that tape doesn't stick to this. Fortunately, it's not as bad as the last one was. So after a couple days of having the RV there, we find out that they're not done with it. They're like, we need a couple more days. It'll be Monday or Tuesday. Day. My wife's calling him pretty much every day, but we did ask him to do a few extra things. That's understandable. We'll go find a place down in Tucson because there's a book fair going on down there anyway. And my daughter did do some filming of it, which I'm trying to help her edit and put over on Kids channel. I'll put a link to that when it's available. Gotta make sure this is really nice and clean. Not the tape to stick. Need some scissors. I try and avoid these spots when I put the silicone on. We didn't hear back from them on Monday. We don't hear back from them on Tuesday. Again, my wife calling them every day. Finally, Wednesday morning, they get a hold of us and we find out they haven't done anything. And you can see I'm putting as much of this tape on here as I possibly can. No chance of this coming off again. That's the goal anyway. What do you think? Think that's enough? Now for the hard part. This is where you'll be glad you haven't trimmed your fingernails in a few days or a week. It's just sat there in their lot. So I call and tell them, say, look, I've had to rearrange some schedules. I'm just going to come pick it up. Some of these are easier than others. So when I'm picking it up, the guy informs me that they've had a technician out sick for the last week. And I'm like, okay, great. That would have been nice to have known a week ago. Yeah, we got to make sure we put this on nice and straight. Certainly don't want it to be. Crooked. But he told me he'd call me when they have someone available again, which probably won't be till the middle of summer, which is when hotels are really cheap in Phoenix, so maybe that'll work out better anyway. Probably should have waited till then anyway. The tape is weight activated, so I put some weight on it for a couple minutes. It says 60 seconds, but I'm gonna make sure. Just leave that there for a while. Now, you got to reattach it. Not real satisfied with quality controls I seem to have with these RVs. I hear the same thing all the time. When you buy your RV, just expect things to be broken. That's what the manufacturers do. They just crank them out as fast as they can. And their quality control is the dealership. And then the dealership. Sometimes they're not very good either. Some people have just accepted as a fact of RVs. So either be mechanically inclined or we'll deal with the warranty. So there it is. So the other things we're trying to get fixed, the Bluetooth. This stereo head unit would not be my choice. It's not a very good one. And we've tried two different phones, my Android, my wife's iPhone. Neither of them will pair with Bluetooth with that thing. So we're getting that replaced. The Bluetooth microphone over there, it's glued on. The clip's broken. They were supposed to replace it. They never did. Maybe they will when they replace the stereo, if they ever find time to get it done. There's a HDMI switch in here. Back there, that goes to the 
four TVs. Why we need four TVs, I don't know. Kids and my wife like watching TV, so. But that's, that HDMI switch cuts out all the time. And with our new Apple TV, I'm finding out that that switch is not HDCP compliant, which means a lot of the stuff we're trying to stream off Netflix and other apps that are encrypted won't decrypt, and so we end up with a blank screen when trying to play them. Our stairwell's cracked. This door right here, way back in there, there's supposed to be a magnet that attaches to this plate hold it in place it's missing there's one on this door right there it's not on the other one they don't clean the stuff out very well when they're working on these things and so now there's a bunch of debris in our skylight there's even a chunk of insulation stuck behind this cooling vent and this cheap little metal excuse for a drain screen it doesn't like to stay in place here go figure and every once in a while this says we are using zero amps even though things are on just not that accurate or i don't know got a screw here on the ladder that's the head popped off of it and my bumper crooked probably because we ran into something is it worth the hassle to try and get these things fixed or replaced i don't know so you know obviously nothing critical or terribly wrong that gonna keep us from using the RV except that we have to drop it off for apparently two weeks or something in order to get everything fixed on it. It's just a pain. I should take that down. Well, gotta get a screwdriver. Why is my hair always messy? Oh, really well. That's getting noisy. I think that's mustard. Oh, no. <laughs> supposed to let go. Hold on. This is how I do overhead, using my awning. There's another thing you're always doing when living in an RV. Cleaning. Always clean. Every day.